G'day guys, uh, Charlie here, Custom Crafts. Where are we, Wayne? In Hesperia, California. There you go, in Hesperia, California. It's absolutely gorgeous here. I'm just going to capture some of the mountainside. And if I was to say anything, it's really typical American here. Flat and then mountains. That's all mountain range to go and play in, man, and ride in. It's awesome. You can spend weeks and weeks riding that range. It's absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, I'm here today with Wayne. Uh, going to go through uh, his bike. Um, just going to capture a bit of that before I start. Just clicked on the clear ones on the back, some clear lenses uh, from the smoke. Now I know this is a bit of a brush over the bike, but uh, there's some signature pieces, mate, like these guys are artists. And uh, I'm gonna interview Wayne a bit and hear a bit about his uh, build and building this. He does most of the work himself uh, in the garage. That be right, Wayne? Correct. Awesome. You know, um, so welcome, brother. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get this right. <laughs> welcome, here's Wayne with me. How you guys doing? <laughs> Good. Um, Wayne, the bike man. Uh, Let's start with building it. What year is this, mate? It's a 2001 Electroglide standard. When I first got her, she was completely stuck. Okay, standard, standard. Yeah, I gotta ask you, what was the first thing you modified on it? Yeah, <laughs> believe it or not, it was the rims uh -huh. and handlebars. I took it to my buddy's shop in El Segundo, South Bay Customs. Uh huh. Yeah, and uh, he helped me mount the new uh, rims, and also he put on the handlebars for me. Awesome, brother. Awesome. And what bars are they? They are. I forget what pullbacks they are, but they. Uh, he got them for me. I don't remember what, what brand they were. Sorry. I don't know offhand. It's many years ago, five years now. <laughs> oh, no problem. No problem. And uh, after that, what did you modify second? After that, uh, I started doing a little bit of the chrome work, getting stuff, chrome parts for her. Uh -huh. And then shortly after that, uh, contacted a painter and he painted the bike for me. Okay. Is that a custom uh, mix on the paint, or is that just a standard yeah, color? Yeah, it's, it's custom, and then uh, it's candy with metal flake with ghost graphics. Yeah, you see it in the sun, it's just so many different colors, brother. Yes, sir. You know, the metallic popping, it's just yeah. gorgeous. You know, you get the depth and darkness here, mm -hmm. you know, and you get the contrast lightness here. You get the blues and the greens coming together. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? A bit of sun. Yeah. You know? And then when she goes into the dark, she cools down and she changes colors again. Yeah. it pop out a darker blue, yeah? Uh, she gets more of like a darker green. Oh, yeah. green. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. And I've got to ask you, Wayne, the air filter here. Finned air filter. I love it. Yeah, it was uh, hard to find. Uh, one of the guys I ride with, uh, Tony Gutierrez, uh, he found that air cleaner for me, and uh, I had to get trained. Sorry about the train in the background. Okay, the train's uh, train's gone. Take <laughs> take two. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, so we were talking about the air cleaner. Yeah. So it was just a hard to find um, a person I I know. His name's Tony Gutierrez. He found this air cleaner for me, and uh, I took it to my my painter, and his son uh, does engraving. Uh -huh. So I had him engrave that for me, and uh, that's what we ended up with. Looks gorgeous, man. Thank you. Yeah, it just goes with that old, uh, you know, motion while standing still look. Yes, sir. You know, I love it. Absolutely love it, mate. Yeah. And you see you got the uh, Harley Davidson uh, brake pedal. Yeah. I made this. I mean, a lot of people make these. Uh -huh. It's not hard to do. Uh -huh. So I figured, hey, if I'm doing the brake pedal, I might as well do the floorboards for the passenger. Yeah. So I made custom ones yeah. for the rear passenger floorboards. They do fold down. Um, they are functional. Uh -huh. I just fold them up yeah. so people can see them. 
Yeah. And it just uh, throws out that motor Harley Davidson cycle. It's like crazy. Yeah, I love it too. I've uh, I've never seen them used uh, there. You That's know. Right, yeah. Funny enough, uh, I was in uh, Jakarta, man, and the guy was using the um, um, the Vickler. He had a Vickler. Um, oh, uh, so there we go. Yeah, so I, like I said, we made these. Yeah. And then I also custom made the uh, frame guards underneath. And uh, my friend Roy at Rapture Customs, once again, the guy that painted my bike and his son does all the engraving. Um, his son did the engraving. We got him chromed. I just didn't like seeing the black frame underneath the bike, so I put uh, custom-made uh, frame covers. Well, that's a, a nice way of cleaning it all up, Wayne. Thank you. Yeah. Damn, it looks good, man. Looks beautiful. And then up here at the top is a custom dash piece that I made. Uh, I had a business doing it, and uh, the COVID hit, so... I'm going to try to get back into it when I make these custom pieces again for people's dashes for early model Harley Davidsons. Okay, tell me about the dash. What's actually involved? So with this, I had to take it to a special company where they do the laser cut on this and then they transfer an image onto the a piece of, uh, I wouldn't say it's plastic, it's uh, more of like an ABS. Uh -huh. And uh, it's on there good. That image is on there good. It's not. It's not airbrushed or anything like that. Yeah. It's not painted. It's uh, transferred onto the ABS. Well, you've done a great job of it. Looks airbrushed, bro. Thank you. Thank Standing you. Standing here, I'm right up close, man. You can't tell the difference. Thank you. You know, that's a nice neat piece, there, brother. Yeah. And then the seat here. This seat was done. It's hand tooled and painted by Los. That's his name. He's out of Arizona. He did all of this. Here's his signature right there. Yeah. He did uh, all this hand tooling and painting himself. Yeah. And then oh, that's a better view of it. Yep. I had a guy locally. Um, this actually goes to the Long Beach Swap Meet. He did all the baseball stitching for me on the seat. Oh, okay. That's what you call it, baseball yeah. stitching. Yeah. Yeah, I see why. After the mitt, right? Correct. Okay. Even an Australian can work that out. How's that? For all your Aussies back home. Beautiful brother. Thank you. Beautiful. And then moving around to the back of the bike, of course, we got all the custom craft lenses on the back. We got the afterburners. Yeah. Uh, we just recently changed out the smoked yeah. for the clears. And I think the clears make her pop so much. <laughs> I think she looks really great with those clear afterburners. Awesome, man. Yeah. I, uh, I gotta say, mate, it's a, uh, a real honor and privilege to have him on your ride. Uh, Appreciate it. I, I yeah. love your product. Your product's great. Yeah. Uh, you're a founding member, mate, of the family, to be honest with <laughs> yeah. you. And what I'm doing back home, I've arranged it in my garage. I'm going to be, um, I've found a graffiti artist now. It's taken me about two years. But I found a, a graffiti artist, man, he can do the bikes. Oh, nice. Yeah. Because I was trying to get photos of the bikes. And what I want to do is... Um, Put these iconic bikes that's been part of the custom craft travel up on the walls that's an honor yeah. yeah and obviously this is one of them wayne you know i've got probably about 20 to do nice. um but i'll give you a shout out man when it's done and you know we're going to be putting a bike up there each month that'd be cool yeah um you know uh this bike jesse's bike uh, i can name about 10 off the top of my head man um i call them the founding bikes it's not me product mate it's the uh it's the guys who have got uh, gone through the bar of creating a work of art and uh, made it's just something there to, to uh, finish it off, you know? Yeah. That's awesome, brother. Yeah, thank you. And you got some of those fishies are hanging out the back, mate, obviously. Yes, sir. You know? Those are Factory 47 uh, fishtails. From what I understand, they don't make them anymore, so... All right. They really make her sound mean. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I had the pleasure once of uh, when I was crossing America, I was going into Louisiana uh, over the top, and uh, there were three bikes ahead of me about two o'clock in the morning, and these guys were hauling ass, mate. And they all had fishtails on, and uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. They all 
had fishtails on, huh? Yeah, fishtails on their bikes, man. And uh, it was an awesome sound. Two o'clock in the morning, I'm rolling down the windows and just, you know, standing a bit further back from them. But it just sounded awesome. And I followed them for about two hours. Yeah. Yeah, great. Um, one of the highlights of the trip, man. I got to hear fishtails <laughs> solid for two hours, you know. <laughs> <laughs> For some people, that's a nightmare, but some others, they uh, love it. <laughs> I love it, man. You know, you can't get enough of it. The louder, the better. I love it. Yeah. You know, mate. And you've got the latches all done too, yeah? Yes, sir. She's nice, man. And then coming around to the derby or primary cover, this is Chicano Yank. That's his signature. Yeah, I recognize that man. Mr. Chicano Yank. How you going, brother? Hey, nice bit of artwork there on the bike. I was with him down at the uh, Long Beach uh, fishtail show, man. He had his bike down there. Yeah, I seen it on the... I was back south on the southern ride, so ah, yeah. I didn't have a chance to make that fishtail show. Yeah. It looked great, though. Uh-huh. And then here, moving to the linkage, that's custom linkage as well, by uh, friend Roy with uh, Rapture Custom Auto Body. He's the one that made that. And once again, his son's the one that did the engraving. That's awesome, brother. Some serious guns, eh? Yes, sir. You know? And I'm... then coming up here, this is off of a 48. Well, this is the... Sec second there, brother. There we go. This is off a of 48. It's the original siren cover uh, for a soft tail. They, you know, they usually go back behind or just in front of the back wheel. Um, police used them and so forth. But I modified it and put the siren cover on a modern siren. And uh, it's functional and everything. Damn. That's beautiful. I love it. It's got that uh, typical early um, Harley Davidson aerospace look to it, man. Yes, sir. You know? Yeah. And it offsets against your, uh, your, your breather one as well. Yeah. It's great, Wayne. You know? Yeah, I try to get it to flow. Yeah, um, that's why I do like certain sections of the bike, the front part of the bike, have a little bit of engraving, and then the center of the bike, you got engraving, and move back towards the back part of the bike with a little bit of engraving to get everything to flow. Yeah, and I wanted to have that flow feel. That's why that siren cover flows like that. My air cleaner flows like that. Yeah, everything seems to flow. Yeah, and then if you notice here, if you look at my tank badges, the way these are shaped, it's much like my covers. That's a perfect match, nearly, hey? Look at that. Yeah. Just a lot of small details that people may not see or whatever. Yeah. But it's they're there, small little details. Yeah, it's until you start going through that process yes. and working it out as you're doing your build. Yeah. You know, and you gotta make this work into that, the next part and the next thing. Yeah. And then you get it wrong a bit further down, so you gotta change <laughs> it up a few times. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh done that a few times myself you know yeah and then this is a manual center stand I have air ride but yeah. it's manual so I use my hand it, uh, it used to have a kick out right here I ground that off and cleaned it up uh -huh. so now I just fold it down by hand okay. um, that way um, it doesn't hang out I don't want it hanging out and I also cut this it was uh, probably about three inches longer. Uh -huh. I cut these and retapped and made the stand shorter so the bike would sit lower. Ah, oh, awesome. Awesome. Damn, you need the sunglasses on to look at this bike, brother. <laughs> yes. You know? And then I can't forget about my pinstriper, Malix. He's the one that did the lettering on the uh, windshield. Uh, he's out of Lomita. He's an awesome pinstriper. Yeah. He's, uh, you see, he's got his little autograph right there. There you go, brother. And what city, what state's he in, man? He's in California, Lamita, California. Oh, okay, that's a Kelly thing. Okay, awesome. Damn, I love the teardrop bar. Mirrors just to polish it off, yes. you know? Yeah, I try to stay with that old school look. I, you know, when I was building her, yeah. um, I'm 51 years old, growing up, going to lowrider shows and the whole Chicano style. Yeah. I knew when I got a bike or uh, a lowrider car, I knew sort of how I wanted to do it. So I wanted to go with the the colors, like the teal colors, yeah. uh, with the ghost graphics to give it that, um, you know, that garage build type style, that look. Yeah. 
and then I wanted to keep everything pretty much uh, old school looking so when you actually look at the bike you get that old school feel that uh, oh yeah man this is this is a totally a gangster lowrider bike yeah well, it definitely portrays that image mate yeah thank you you know you've done it well you've captured it well man it uh, it looks really great and it flows Wayne it really does you can see you've taken the care you know yes, uh, sir. to nail that look it just recently I went on a road trip to the south yeah and uh, met up with a few people out there icon biker gear they're awesome a southern devil Harley Davidson man they, they, the south they're just a bunch of great people out there and I look forward to going back to the south and and riding out there again it was nothing but love I showed up to a show late. They let me do a late entry, and I ended up taking home a best of show. It, it was, it was unbelievable. <laughs> Must have been very happy with that, hey? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. From the west coast to the east coast. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. That uh, I didn't think I was gonna get a trophy. Yeah. For sure. That's awesome. You know. Well, I've ridden with your brother, man. I've seen you take this out on the road and smash it down the street, man. It's been awesome. You know, uh, riding down through LA in the mountains. Um, it's great. And uh, you obviously, uh, you take it out to the surrounding hills. Yes, sir. You know? You've been with me riding through the mountains. Yeah. Just take that air right all the way up and I ride her like a damn rice rocket <laughs> yeah yeah that's the great thing about that air ride isn't yeah, it yeah you can do that adjustment yeah and get it right up yeah yeah uh, you get the clearance on the bags too isn't it yes yeah, sir yeah. yeah get it up there yeah that's awesome Wayne that's really awesome what do you got here you made a little skull I see yeah so this is my breather I made this so it it uh the oil that comes out of the breather uh, get yeah. captures in here yeah. so when I do the oil change and so forth or if it gets full yeah. I can just take it off right there and yeah. empty out the the oil that would normally be going over the whole side of the bike now it's captured right here in this uh, little breather that's a smart idea isn't it yeah smart yeah. idea otherwise you got a lot of constant cleaning to do yeah you know which they do anyhow he's always no. being wiped down <laughs> yeah, yeah he did not prepare this for the custom craft camera this is the way it sits in his garage yeah. <laughs> uh trust me mate most artists like yourself keep it this way too in the garage mate you ought to see it you know my, Every my wife tells me i wish you touched me as much as uh, you touch her <laughs> yeah i'm sure a lot of bike guys could say that yeah you know uh give me the same attention right yes. yeah just loving how this pops you know Let it. yeah just popping and then we got those turbines out for we got the afterburners in the back and the turbines in the front yeah and you went with the clear why the clear man well you know originally i went with all uh with the uh smoke yeah and after a while i just said hey you know what it's going to look better if i go with the clear yeah it's going to flow better with the chrome and for sure it definitely does when you came out and changed out those lenses to the clears from the from the smoked I, I even though i like the smoked lenses don't get me wrong yeah i love them yeah it just uh with the clear and chrome it just made it pop a whole bunch more oh yeah absolutely yeah yeah flattens that look out instead of you know beautiful all right guys that's a wrap for me uh thanks for hooking up man uh love you all uh thank you wayne man man thank you for coming out charles yeah brother and uh it's always a pleasure seeing you thanks for coming out to the house and yeah installing the clear ones and <laughs> and taking off the smoked I, I like i said i like the smoke but it's always cool uh, and charles is extremely humble if you've never had the chance of meeting charles if you see charles don't be afraid to approach him and talk to him. He's a great guy. Yeah. I mean, he came out and we had breakfast this morning. And even if uh, he wasn't coming out to do lenses, he just wanted to meet up and catch up. Yeah. And you don't find a lot of people like that left in the world or, you know, especially vendors. Yeah. Oh, it's a pleasure, brother. Yeah. I really you know, appreciate to it. To me, it's family, you know. Yeah. Are you part of it? Yeah. I appreciate uh, it. Yeah. Uh, it was a great thing, too. At Fishtails, uh, you know, I had people just doing that, you mm -hmm. know 
Oh yeah, I've got my lenses. Da, 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 da. You know, even people that didn't. No, you're the custom craft guy. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, we're all in this uh, bike culture together, brother. That's right. You know, yeah. we're yeah. a family. Yeah, I wish I could take my bike out to Australia. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it would cost me an arm and a leg. <laughs> yeah, they'd love it, wouldn't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, brother. I'll see you all later.